Oh, hey. Sorry, let me uh, turn the music down a little bit here. There we go. Uh, okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to think of the year 2057, 40 years from now, 2057. And I want to see if you can visualize yourself living, living in the year 2057. Uh, what life would be like for you at around age 57, 58, somewhere around there, right? Um, you probably cannot do that because had a teacher asked me back in 1977, 40 years ago from today, if I could visualize myself living in 2017, it would have looked nothing, nothing like this. I think the biggest change is technology in the last 40 years, uh, particularly, you know, this smart device that we have, that we all have, right? This has really changed our lives so much, hasn't it? I mean, could I have foreseen in the year 2017 that I had a, a phone, a mobile phone that I could call somebody anywhere, take with me, or that I could play my music off of? Or text, send a message to a friend, just a message. Or to go on social media, to get caught up on uh, people and topics of interest. Or have all this knowledge and information available at my fingertips. Uh, no. So I can imagine what 2057 is going to look like for you. Uh, there's no way you can see what, what uh, what's in store for you. It's going to be amazing. Um, I will say that I do think that smart devices uh, have really changed the nature of education and the role of the teacher in the classroom very dramatically. You know, when I first started out 36 years ago as a teacher, my only technology was a piece of chalk in front of a chalkboard, writing information down for my students for them to copy. You know, I was the expert. My students were the novices. Uh, they were the empty vessels that I was filling up. Information from my head transferred to their head. But that's ridiculous to do that today. Um, you have the information available to you that you can access instantaneously. For example, if I were to ask you, what is the population of Montana? What's the capital city? What's the population? How does the population rank with the other uh, 49 states? All you would have to do is like, Go to Google, right, or any other uh, search engine and type in, uh, you know, population of Montana, right, and pull it up, and there you go. The population of Montana estimated in 2016 is 1.043 million. Okay, I knew it wasn't a lot of people living in Montana. I mean, that's not a lot of people, right? Uh, it ranks 44th compared to the other states. Uh, the capital city is Helena, Helena, Helena. And all this information is available, like, right here at my fingertips. I could get like that. And that's true with, with uh, most uh, subjects, most topics. So 
now, so, so with that thought in mind, we have, as, as educators, we have to rethink what we are actually doing in the classroom. Because information dissemination is, is out of date. So what I want to do is I want to use our classroom time to accomplish what our school-wide objectives are for education here at Cary. And that, of course, is critical thinking. That we call them the four C's. Critical thinking, collaboration, communication, and creativity. So that, that is what should be happening every day in our classroom. Not the teacher disseminating information to students. So that's what this YouTube channel is for. For you to access uh, presentations that I will put on that will cover the nuts and bolts of the curriculum uh, uh, so we can use our classroom time for some really good uh, critical thinking, communication, collaboration, creativity, and stuff like that. So go come to this channel, and uh, you'll have uh, some, some handouts that I will want you to complete as you watch these videos. Videos will range from 10 to 15 minutes in length. No more than 15 minutes, uh, oftentimes less than 10. And hopefully, uh, uh, if, you, if you have any questions about any of the material, don't hesitate to ask uh, in class. But uh, that's what we're doing uh, in this class. We're flipping the classroom. So you're getting all that information on your own, uh, on YouTube, uh, and uh, so we can use our classroom time more productively, more wisely, and uh, hopefully more fun. So think about, think about, think about 20, 2057. Think about that. You can't. It's impossible. Till next time.